The following video is for informational purposes only. Proceed with the suggested repairs at your own risk. This video is part of a comprehensive 11 chapter series detailing single Venos service. Servicing Venos requires special tools. The seasoned BMW techs at Bomb Tools will help you choose the right tools for the models you work with, whether it's a single or double Venos on a BMW or any other European car you're repairing. The Bomb Tools guys have it or know where to get it. German Automotive Special Tools since 1959. That's all we do. Now let's join Angelo Campana for an excerpt from his Single Venos Service Seminar. So, this is typically what the single Veno system looks and operates on its on-off cycle. Take a notice we have the DME there, and the solenoid, and your Venos assembly. This in particular is an example of an MS41.2 DME era 1995. This was the first version of electronics influenced the Venos operation. Take notice of the angled teeth of the helical gears. This is which causes the pushing movement of the helical cup to be converted into a rotational movement. In the retard or normal position or off position, the spool valve in the piston housing is held fully forward by spring pressure, directing the engine oil to the backside of the piston. This is caused by no ground signal to that veno solenoid, which allows oil pressure to exert from the oil port to the backside of that spool valve or spooling piston or venous piston in the piston chamber. In simple terms, this part is pressurized by oil to set that spool valve to the farthest position forward in the venous housing thus causing the camshaft in retard position. Now, just the opposite, in the advanced position and function, the DME now provides a ground circuit, thus activating that solenoid, which, of course, on the other side of it, is powered by B+. That spool valve now pushes against the spring pressure, diverting the pressurized engine oil to the front side of the piston thus moving that spool valve or venous piston to the back of the piston housing. This pushes that helical gear cup further into the matched helical camshaft secondary gear drive. Very simple, right there. Here is a simple single venous teardown. Your venous piston housing is right there. Now, remember the spooling valve or the spooling piston, the venous piston? You know, arose by any other name as Shakespeare would put it? There it is there. Simple, ain't it? Roger that. This rotational movement is added to that turning of the camshaft and causes only the intake camshaft to advance about 12 and a half degrees. Very small, very slight, but enough to make a difference. As I stated previously, if you were listening, the early single Veno system was a simple on-off system operation and only for the intake camshaft. Also note that the operation of that Veno solenoid is monitored in accordance with OBD2 requirements for that emission control. Now, before going any further, I just want to drop in here and mention that there is what's called an SIB, or a SIB. It's basically German for Technical Service Bulletin, but they call it Service Information Bulletin. Again, that's just another German acronym for TSB. It is related to the rattling, or what they call rustling noise, as they put it, related to the early model M50 engines that are equipped with single Venos. Now, these are some of the vehicle models covering this SIB. By the way, get used to calling it a SIB, not a TSB. Starting off with the E34 and 36 with the M50 motor. Manufactured 
early 90s to about mid-95. Then you have your E36 or your 3 Series, M52, manufactured late 94 to mid-95. It is related to an update to these model engines and updating to the following procedures and parts. Now, the fix, you're paying attention now, you're going to convert the Vanos adjustment unit to a plate spring. How are you going to do that? Well, I'm going to show you. This solution was introduced to the series production in June of 95. The newer version update included three parts, a 2 millimeter thrust washer, one spring plate, and a 4 millimeter thrust washer. Now, let's look at these two pictures. At the top is the original configuration for the single Venos. At the bottom is the converted one. You see the difference? Not really too hard to make out where the difference lies. There is that SIB number related to that. And what this was all about was a basic attempt to make a conscious effort by BMW to remedy the issue by tightening up the camshaft adjustment. Thanks for watching. This video was brought to you by BTU Service Solutions, a division of Bomb Tools Unlimited, Euro Diagnostic Resources, and Euro Auto Training. We are focused on helping you and your auto repair business thrive. We're eager for your feedback, your comments, and your suggestions. Send us an email, comments at euroautotraining.com. Yeah.